Hello YouTube people. Today I'm gonna show you around the basic components of your diesel engine. For this example, we're gonna take a D13 Volvo engine. Uh, usually the basic component components are uh, the same all engines. So you don't have to worry about it saying, oh, this is a uh, real, uh, my truck might have something different. No, usually the basic components from the engines or parts uh, are the same. So for this sample, we're gonna take this engine and we're gonna look around. So you might have an idea of where to look if you hear a weird noise around it. So let's get, let's get started. So, as you can see, sorry, as you can see, this is the alternator, okay, right? This is completely stuck since it's been on the rain, it's been raining around here lately. So, this is the alternator. And this engine is on Volvos and Packards in columns on the left. On DD15s and Cummins engine is on the right. So if you hear noise around here, it might be the alternator, okay? Or if you see smoke, right, coming like a smoke and it smells like something is burning, especially like something electrical, it means it could be the alternator. So the next component, the AC compressor, all right? This one is still loose, <laughs> quite surprising. Uh, if you see, usually is this one smokes also, it might be because the compressor goes bad or maybe has no free, uh, uh, a lot of things, okay? Uh, this is just the basics, so I'm gonna cover just basic stuff. No, I'm gonna, I won't go in depth in other things because it will take me more time. This one, right, is a preheater. Uh, usually in the, uh, in where, where do where I live they don't need it but if you live in north northern states like oh New Jersey Chicago Illinois or uh, other places in the north the, the truck might need it okay so this is the preheat mm -hmm. you see all the wires in here okay next we have the crankcase breather we talked about it before so this one has it on the left side, on the driver's side. In um, in DD15s, it has it on the right. So we already talked about oil leaks, about this thing. So you can check my other video, all right? And that way you can find out if you have a oil leak over there or not. This small thing in here, this is like a valve, yeah, or air solenoid. This is for this engine only. This accessory is especially for this engine. Uh, Volvo got rid of it in like 2015 engines. It didn't need it anymore. But this one is a, an accessory that comes only with this engine. Because this is like a, for the turbo bypass, right? The air bypass the turbo and it goes straight to the uh, intake manifold. So the, this is for that, but uh, it's just for this engine. I haven't seen it in other engines, so now it's good to know. Sometimes and um, you can hear air leaks around the engine side. Some drivers say, "Oh, my my truck is like it has an air leak around the engine, and this might be the problem, especially if you have a this type of engines, or this type of Volvo DD13, might be that the problem." Next, we have the fuel filter module you see all the fuel lines and uh, this is the I believe the fuel pressure sensor all right uh, you have your priming pump like here uh, here supposed to be the and this part here if, I don't know if you can see it it's supposed to be the MCM or ECU but this one you already take it off because of course, this is, this is a piece of junk engine already, so a car that will take the most value part from it. Uh, we have here the, uh, this is the oil pressure sensor, and this is the crankcase, 
crankcase pressure sensor okay so this is you know, all the engines usually has oil pressure sensor crankcase pressure sensor some of them has it some of them don't but this one comes with it okay but oil pressure sensor all of them have you have your air compressor this is huge compared to uh, DD15's engine or Detroit engine so in, even uh, Cummins engine because this one has dual pistons okay this one has two pistons unlike Mac engine that just we talked about it before is a red Volvo basically but those Mac comes only with a single piston it's just half of this compressor and you know what is the good thing about this compressor since it has two pistons it built faster the air compared to or compared to only a single piston so the compressor is on the left uh, i believe uh, in the in all trucks lately in the old engines i have seen it comes on the left you know in series 60 it used to be yeah in the left too so the, good to know for you guys if you hear any noise around this side it could be your compressor okay here is the power steering pump okay this is the fuel pump this is just for dd13 but obviously all the engines has a fuel pump and a power steering pump it might be in different places but it comes with it all right so as you can see this is the top of the head it's completely full of water because it's been raining here as i told you guys before all right you see all these lines in here okay this is all, all the wires that goes for this is for the EGR bulb this is for the 7 injector um, this is our these are coolant lines or coolant pipes okay so let's go around um, yeah let's go around and here we are we have the EGR cooler in here Oh, they take off the turbo already it used to be here but they remove it okay uh, here is the oil filter module uh, this module has changed a little bit in the newer Volvos but it is it goes in the same place you see yeah, exactly it's exactly three filters and the good thing as you can see these filters doesn't change at all even for the newest 2019 engines so that's good from Volvo because they're they're updating the design of the engine but if you want to do PM on that you don't have to replace the filters you're using right now so that's good for the people who has D13 engines that's good for you guys uh, we have the this is the the, the the pipe that comes after the turbo as you can see the 7 injector is completely broken this is the valve that controls the pipe that i show you you see this valve in here it opens and closes over there as you can see there's a, a valve that push out and that let, let it go the, the air pass uh, bypass the turbo i think that's to help you know to to cool to to cooler the air yeah that you can put it that way so there you have it guys and this is the EGR bulb you can see it here this one works with oil unlike the ones that works electric and there's some I think there's the one that works with oil like this one and there's the ones that works with uh, air with uh, sorry electric they are electric bulbs but this one I by far I think they are the best because it has no electric components it's just the the valve that let go the oil through the, the they let go the oil through the valve so this one and the good thing about this even this valve fits in the newer bulbos even this valve which is really good from bulbos uh you have the elbow this elbow here and you have the EGR cooler we talk about it I'm gonna make another video talking about EGR coolers uh, pretty soon. Uh, we have the starter motor. This is part of your engine com components, right? 
is really important because if the starter is misfire, it won't turn on the engine. So if you hear any noise over there, you should change it. Okay. And we have the coolant filter. You know, uh, in DD15 engines, the coolant filter, they completely remove it up, uh, starting from 2017 or 18 and they don't have it anymore. If you check it out, the assembly, when the, you know, oil, oil uh, cooler is, all that assembly where you pour the oil, you cannot see any part where you can change the, oil, the coolant filter. Volvos and Max and Cummins still have it, but DD, Detroit got rid of it. So uh, we'll see how it goes, right? Okay, uh, this, supposed to be a pipe where the EGR sensor sits around here sits around here on this part in here so it's missing but it's good to know that it's over there and this is I believe this is the basic stuff I can show you right now guys this plate that you see here is the engine cooler uh, this is just for Volvo's too because uh, DD15 and Cummins doesn't have these things uh, uh, I think that's it guys uh, thank you for watching today uh, if you have any other questions about other parts that you need to know all right I uh, do remember I made a video talking about tensioners and pulleys you can check that video too and if you got more questions about it please let me know in the comment section below and I'm gonna try to answer all and let me add something else uh, you can see this is the thermostat it goes on the front and it's still the good thing is in the viewers bulbos and the viewers bulbos are the same the thermostat goes in here uh water pump it goes in the same place uh and pretty much are a couple things from this engine to the newest engine they are the same so uh i hope i had the chance to do another video talking about dd15 engines and the basic components too but for now that's all that i have for you guys uh thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video thanks bye